For today's myths, I want to concentrate on one single aspect, that being hit songs that were written by people you absolutely would not expect. That is to say, a lot of the biggest hits in recent history were written by people not actually performing it. So here are a few of my favorites that you might not know. For the first one, we're going to turn to one of the biggest bands of the 1980s, The Bangles. Yeah, we all remember Walk Like an Egyptian, but it was their first hit, Manic Monday, where the real story lies. If you look at the writing credits on that song, in nearly every case they're attributed to simply one name. Christopher. It's a bit odd, I know, and it's actually a very veiled reference to a very specific person. You actually have to go back and look at the title credits for the 1986 film Under the Cherry Moon, as the Christopher in question is that film's main character, Christopher Tracy, who was played by, you guessed it, Prince. Prince had originally written Manic Monday for another group, but he eventually decided to give it to the Bangles, and it quickly shot up the charts to number two, being held from the top position by, that's right, Prince's hit single, Kiss. The next songwriting credits we're going to look at is one of those songs everyone loves to hate, Will Smith's classic, Gettin' Jiggy With It. When it comes to the world of hip-hop music, it's all about machismo and posturing. And yet, Will Smith has made his name as the good guy of rap music, in a genre that seems like it would have no use for someone who doesn't have violent lyrics or swear words or things like that. This single from 1998 is very much the epitome of that idea, as it's almost annoyingly sugary at every turn. And you can only imagine just how far other MCs wanted to distance themselves from this song. But the fact of the matter is, one of the co-writing credits goes to a man named Nasir Jones, or as most people in the world of hip-hop know him, Nas. Yep, that's right, the man who once started a fight with Jay-Z and is responsible for one of the greatest hip-hop albums in history also took part in the writing of Gettin' Jiggy With It. Staying in the world of so-called hardcore MCs who are quite out of place in writing credits, as well as staying under the idea of amazingly annoying songs of the past 15 years, let's look at the utterly abhorrent 2005 Pussycat Dolls song, Don't Ya. Yes, this certainly vies for the top spot of songs you wish were never written, and I'm sure it comes as a shock to absolutely nobody that the Pussycat Dolls had no hand whatsoever in writing this song. But it is something a bit beyond amusing when you find out who actually did write this one. I saved this one for last because it was the collective effort of three people who are certainly household names. You know, Trevor Smith, Thomas Calloway, and Anthony Ray. While those names may not ring a bell, their stage names certainly do, as respectively the people I just referred to are Busta Rhymes, CeeLo Green, and Sir Mix-a-Lot. And no, I am not kidding. To be fair, Sir Mix-a-Lot is only mentioned because the core of the song is based around a loop from his song Swiss, so you can really let him off the hook for this musical disgrace. The other two, however, not so fast. It was the pairing of Busta Rhymes and CeeLo Green that put this song together, and this is actually the second release of it as the first person they gave it to failed to do anything money-making with it. Obviously, we all know that the Pussycat Dolls version infected airwaves all across the planet, and at the end of the day, you can 100% blame Busta Rhymes and CeeLo Green for this outright musical travesty. Yeah, yeah, I know, there are a number of extremely famous songs that were written by people that didn't perform that version, but I wanted to pull a few more recent tracks and ones you might not have heard of for this discussion. Be sure to check back here every single Thursday as I delve into some of the greatest stories in all of music history and be here every day for all the music news, reviews, and knowledge you'll ever need. <laughs>